it does remind me of paste this is basically pva glue but for your face but in a good way hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about the dr seba deep exfoliating face mask now guys i first talked about this face mask many 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 months ago i think it was even in january and i was supposed to do a follow-up video in march march has come and gone it is july it is currently the 27th of july it's also 11 30 in the evening so almost bedtime i have been getting some questions about this face mask over the last couple of months so i'm here now finally updating you on this face mask like i said it's late so let's just jump straight into the video okie dokie guys so today like i've just said we are talking about the dr seba deep exfoliating face mask i have been using this on and off since january the way that my year has gone in terms of my skin and trying skincare products i haven't been able to keep up with it consistently over the three months i kind of just use the mask as and when i need it which tends to be if i'm having a terrible breakout if my face is feeling congested if i've got like breakouts and pimples and things like that that is when i reach for this mask so i'm not using it really that often so for the past month i've been using this face mask once a week but i would say from about February through to to late May I was not using this face mask at all but I think from about June so from June pretty much like early June late May to now late July I have been using this face mask once a week just to you know help decongest my skin and help with pimples and breakouts and stuff I just wanted to quickly read out some information about this face mask so First of all, I should say that I got this face mask from Netta Porter. I think I got 10% off this mask. I got this in the, either the January or the Christmas sale. So I didn't actually pay full price for this. But on the Netta Porter website, this is £59. This is also £59 on the Dr. Seba website. If you look into Google, I think different stores have different discounts and things. So you could get this for a cheaper price. The one that I have is for normal skin. But if you do have sensitive skin and you want to give this a try, then they do have one specifically for sensitive skin. Skin. so this is 50 mil like i said it's 59 pounds and on the netta porter website they just say that dr seba's mask is an intense once or twice a week treatment created to reduce pigmentation and brighten dull uneven complexions this deeply exfoliating formula is the perfect prep when your skin needs a helping hand and then on the Dr. Seba website, they say, voted top 10 face mask by Glamour and loved by celebrities and actresses. This powerful express treatment makes an excellent pre-party ritual. Instantly, skin looks lighter, brighter, and smoother. A combination of azelaic and lactic acid exfoliate dead layers of skin for a faster cell turnover. Use once or twice weekly for beautifully polished and radiant looking skin. I'm really only using this once a week, so I don't really think I need it more than once a week, but you can use this once or twice a week if you so wish and then in terms of how to use you just apply this to a clean dry face and you leave it on for five to ten minutes i usually leave this on for as long as i'm showering for which tends to be 15 ish <laughs> minutes my skin isn't sensitive so i kind of feel like i can get away with that and also i don't put on a really thick heavy layer of this stuff i just do like a really thin layer on my face but definitely follow the directions and just keep this on for five to ten minutes yeah so that is basically a bit of background on this face mask so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and wash my face and then when i come back we are going to put on this face mask together and i'm going to talk you through my experiences with this face mask over the last couple of months okay guys so i'm back i've just cleansed my face so so this is the dr seba deep exfoliating mask and when i open it, i think if you've seen my first video then you'll kind of know what it looks like in case you haven't seen that video oh, i love the smell of it although the smell is weird it's like i kind of like the smell but also kind of don't like the smell it's got a weird kind of like pva glue weird kind of not the nicest of smells but i think because i'm so used to smelling it now i really like it it's like a coral color it's quite thick and gloopy but it does remind me of paste this is basically pva glue but for your face but in a good way okay so let's put this on
Okay guys, so while that does settle into the skin, I just want to talk to you, if I can get the lid on. <laughs> so while this mask settles into my skin, I just want to talk to you a bit about the pros, the cons, just my general experience with this face mask and whether or not I would buy it again, which I think is the most important question when it comes to skincare, especially quite expensive skincare. So first of all, for me, I really do like this face mask and I can always tell when I've not used it i can always tell when my face is feeling congested and needs a bit of an exfoliation it just needs a bit of a clean out and i think in those instances where it's been a while like a week since i've exfoliated my face this is the mask that i just gravitate towards for i think about like the three months where i wasn't using this i could definitely feel that my face was missing something so i think for me this mask is really good if you have a bit if you just have congested skin we all know if we've watched more than one of my channels i always have some kind of breakout sports situation going on and i really found that this face mask helps so much with breakouts i feel like i literally just use this face mask once and i can really see such a big difference in breakouts and things like that so i think for breakouts this is really good and i think just in general, face masks do give your face that kind of concentrated oomph to just help push your skin along in the right direction. And this mask has been super beneficial. And I do like that this does have azelaic and lactic acid, which a lot of the Glow Pop products that I use also has. So they kind of work hand in hand. In terms of helping with pigmentation and dark spots discoloration, honestly, I did not get that from this, <laughs> not at all. When I was first using this consistently for that first month and a half, I thought I would see a difference in my skin, literally didn't see any difference in my skin. My dark spots were still kind of doing the same thing, but I think at the same time I was using necessary skincare, I started to use the glow pot a bit more, and just using these different products, I think those things helped with my dark spots more than this face did but that said I didn't use this for three months consistently so I don't know what would have happened if I had have used this consistently for three months but for me from my experience this didn't do anything in terms of reducing my pigmentation evening out my skin tone dark spots or anything like that it really only helped me with my breakouts but you know I'm not mad about that because I do have a ton of other skincare products so if you do have dark spots discoloration hyperpigmentation I can't say for sure that this will help with that I know that a few people have said that this has helped them with that and even on the website and I did portrait on the doctor's on our website they do say that this helps with discoloration and hyperpigmentation but from my experience that's just not what i've experienced at all but you know everyone's skin is different in terms of things that i really think that you should know like maybe the cons of this is this is so drying not straight away drying but always in the next the next morning when i wake up my skin just feels so dry and just like Arr! like it's gagging for some water it's gagging for some moisture so these days what i'm going to show you afterwards i make sure that my skincare routine after this face mask is really hydrating so that in the morning i don't wake up with really dry skin i already have dry skin so it's bad enough normally without using something like this that is quite drying. So my main thing to say is if you are like me and you have dry skin, be weary that this is drying and this will make your face feel like paper, like touching paper with dry hands. I hate that feeling, but that's exactly what my face feels like the next morning after using this. So if you do have dry skin, then make sure that you're following up with a really hydrating skincare routine, which is what I'm going to show you at the end of this video, just so you can see like a full nighttime routine. But really, apart from that, there's not really anything else to say about the face mask. I personally really love this face mask. This face mask is one that I will for sure be rebuying. I don't know if I'll rebuy it soon or maybe at the end of the year. I've got quite a lot left in here. Like I say, I'm not using this as consistently or as religiously as I should be using it. So I'm pretty sure that this will last me for quite a while. But yeah, that's definitely something that I think I will rebuy. Okay, yeah. So I think it has been about 10-ish minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wet my flannel and then when I come back, we're going to take off the mask and I'm going to show you my hydrating evening skincare routine that I do whenever I use this face mask. Hi guys, I'm back. I've got my wet flannel, so we're just going to go in quickly and take off the mask. Okay guys, so the face is done. Do you know, let me take off my earrings. I don't know why I'm refusing to take them out. They're really 
getting in the way. On the days when I am using this face mask, I always cleanse using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It's a very gentle cleanser, which gets the job done. Then we've got toner. This is the Fresh Rose Floral Toner. So I just do a couple spritzes of this. It doesn't help that I'm gonna have a shower soon, so I'm just gonna end up washing all this stuff off, but you know. Then next I've got Essence. This is the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Now guys, as hydrating and as refreshing as this toner and essence is, it is not enough and it is in no way near a match for the Dr. Seba Exfoliating Mask. That mask is so drying for me. I wake up and my skin just feels absolutely horrible. It feels so like crisp and ugh, not that nice. So to make sure that my face is really hydrated and just dewy and rich with moisture. I have to put out the big guns. And that is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. Guys, this mask is amazing. It's great in a pinch. It's great in winter if you have winter dry skin. It's great in the summer if your skin gets really dry. It's great all year round. And this is a product that I don't use it every single night, but whenever my face is dry, it's really parched, it needs a bit of a pick me up. This is the mask that I go to. And especially when I'm using this Dr. Sebar face mask, I always use this face mask now because this is the only thing that can stand up to the dryness of this other mask. So I have, I think I've got like two videos on this sleeping mask. So make sure you check those out for more information on the mask, what's in it, how to use it and all of that kind of stuff. So I've got the mask here. This has two sections. This has a gel section and a cream section. So you first use the gel section and then you lock it in with the cream side. So this is what it looks like inside. Oh, the moment it goes on, it just feels so nice. And I'm gonna go over that with the cream. A nice globule of cream and just dot that on the face and then just rub it in on top. This looks in the gel and this is where the real hydration is. It feels so good on the face, it literally feels so good. And that is literally that. That is my evening skincare routine when I'm using the Dr. Seba exfoliating mask. Trust me guys, if you have dry skin, this sleeping mask is exactly what you need. It, ugh, it really has saved my skin too many times for me to count. Cannot explain just how much I love this enough. Okay guys, so that is all from me and this video. Let me know if you have any questions on the Dr. Seba Deep Exfoliating Mask. I am a huge fan of this mask and if you watched my previous video on this mask, I was talking about how I've been wanting to try this mask for like two or three years. I feel like this has really lived up to my expectations, not in the way that I thought it would though. I thought it would be really good for dark spots, but as I've said, this is better for me anyway, for my breakouts and spots and pimples and things like that. So I do like that it has been helpful to my skin, especially with having to wear masks and like masking and things like that. I think this face mask is really good for helping to just alleviate like pimples and things off the face. So really great thing. It is a tad bit pricey, but if you just look out on the internet for offers on and things like that, I'm sure you can find this for less than £59. For more information on this face mask, make sure you check out my previous video. I do apologise that that video is super long and the first 10 minutes of it is basically me just unboxing a ton of other skincare products that I still need to use actually but anyway make sure you check out that video it is now what's the time it's now 20 past 12 so I'm gonna hop off to bed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and in the meantime I will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.